in previous questions i have told you how to solve this type of question if here is given a root and some very difficult question then we should find dividing factor dividing factor how to find dividing factor coefficient first coefficient is square plus second coefficient is square first coefficient also one second coefficient also one it will be root two so divide everywhere by root two or directly bring this root two to this side one by root two sin x plus one by root two cos x equals to one by any method you do either you do by dividing factor or you directly bring this to left side same result you will get if not you will get then subscribe my channel now one by root two means sin 45 cos a cos b plus sin a sin b it is cos a minus b then it must be 45 it is sin 45 but people don't believe no sin 45 root 2 by 2 it is root 2 by whole square this square root will cancel to be give 2 but in opposite manner if we solve let's cancel this 2 we will get 1 by root 2 isn't this same thing yes this is same thing sin x plus it is also cos 45 people will easily believe now this is cos 45 1 leave it as it is now let's check formula sin a sin b plus cos a cos b means cos a minus b cos a minus b either you do 45 minus x or you do x minus 45 you will get same thing at last now 1 is how much cos 0 is 1 look here cos 0 yes cos 0 is 1 it means x minus 45 equals to cos 0 degree 45 means 180 by 4 is 45 180 by 4 yes 45 180 by 4 pi by 4 now there is one formula this formula is very very important the formula which i am going to write here that is x equals to 2 n pi plus minus theta theta means angle let's use this formula here cos 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 it will be cancelled therefore x means x means whatever we have got in left side everything is x pi by this is x equals to 2 n pi 2 n pi plus minus theta means angle angle is 0 0 degree so only 0 or x minus pi by 4 equals to 2 n pi 0 has no value when it is alone so 2 n pi x equals to 2 n pi this let's bring this side plus pi by 4 now what we can do can we do anything yes we can do a lot of things we have to check in this range if value belongs to this range or not minus 360 plus 360 180 into 2 this is 180 into 2 360 okay let's check first of all n equals to 0 x equals to how much 2 into 0 pi plus pi by 4 it is 0 plus pi by 4 does this belongs to this range i hope so it belongs because pi by 4 means 1 by 4 into pi 0 0.25 0 0.25 pi and here is the range 0 2 minus 2 up to 1 minus 1 yes 0 0.25 it lies somewhere here but it belongs in this range so it's satisfied therefore one value is x equals to pi by 4 this is one of the value also let's test for n equals to 1 x equals to 2 into 1 pi means 2 pi plus pi by 4 we will get here 8 pi plus plus pi yes it is 9 pi by 4 how much is 9 by 4 9 by 4 means 2.25 it is greater than plus 2 so this neglect either neglect or you write out of range same thing out of range let's write out of range now let's check for n equal to minus 1 for n equals minus 1 x equals to 2 into minus 1 means minus 2 pi plus pi by 4 we will get minus 8 pi plus pi by 4 now this will be minus 7 pi by 4 how much is 7 by 4 7 by 4 means 1.75 1.75 belongs to this range or not 
one point seven five belongs somewhere here. Oh, negative, negative also it belongs. Okay, it satisfies. So this also satisfies. So overall we got two answers. So these are the answers. Let's check in the book. How much is given answer? Yes, these two are given as answers. There no problem. Time to do next question.